Live in front of a studio audience in Orlando, Florida, this is Pitch Six. Five local entrepreneurs had six minutes to pitch their ideas to a panel of business savvy judges. This extra exposure could be crucial in boosting these startup businesses out of their beginning stages. The time is now. Our first business owner is Darren Windroff of CareSpotter, an online marketplace to help families find local professional caregivers quickly and safely for senior care tasks of all sizes. Just go to CareSpotter, post your job, which takes just a few minutes, and instantly we connect you with hundreds of local professional background check caregivers in your community. Our second business owners are Samira Madani and Sal Ramatula. Fat Merchant is a payment technology company providing direct cost credit card processing. We've been featured nationally from publications such as Forbes, TechCrunch, Huffington Post, and recently Fast Company, who named us as a top 10 business lesson learned, putting us at third place under Netflix and Spotify. Next up is Keith Fernandez of National Diagnostic Solutions. His company provides in-office diagnostic imaging and testing solutions. The benefits of my company are twofold. One, for patients, you can get your test done in the convenience of your doctor's office instead of going to a hospital. Our fourth business owner is Janelle Young of Nava Pets. Her all-natural pet care company is committed to creating organic, eco-friendly solutions to resolve common pet issues. We provide alternatives in a natural and organic fashion. We cover flea treatments. We cover itch relief. We even provide treats, all under the USDA Organic. Our final business owner is Chris Coyle. His microbrewery and tap room, New Smyrna Beach Brewing Company, offers craft beer and seasonal ales, all brewed on site. For 2016, we're moving to a much larger location. Lucky for us, it's right around the corner. This new location is gonna more than double our tap room seating capacity and more than triple our brewing capacity. Who is going to crush under the pressure of the pitch? I think that his brand asset could become extremely powerful, and I would be curious what he could vision to, to kind of do with that brand asset or leverage that brand. The numbers just don't impress me. My biggest concern would be how's he gonna staff the, the need in the next 10 years. Or will they rise to the challenge and take their business to the next level? Find out which company made it through in the full episode airing on Bright House Networks. Pitch 6. The time is now.